Hello, happy crocheters. This is Lindsay from windingroadcrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this flat bottom market bag. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. For this project, we are going to need scissors. We are going to need worsted weight or size 4 cotton yarn in two colors. We are also going to need a size I or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle to weave in our ends. So let's go ahead and get started. And this pattern does consist of a lot of repeat rows. So if it ever feels like I'm jumping ahead, it's probably because you're gonna need to pause and repeat the row that we just worked several times. So to get started, I am going to make a slip knot and I'm simply going to chain 13. Once you complete your 13 chain, then we're going to begin crocheting. We are going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook, and we're going to single crochet in every chain across. This will give us a total of 12 single crochet for row one. Once we reach the end of row one, we're creating the bottom of our bag here. We are going to chain one and turn and again single crochet in the next 12 stitches. And you're going to repeat row two until you have a total of 38 rows. So feel free to pause the video and work your 38 rows before continuing on. So here I am at the end of row two. I'm going to chain one and turn and then just repeat row two until I have a total of 38 rows. So here you can see I have finished my 38 rows to make the bottom of my bag. Now I'm going to single crochet all the way around my project. To do this, we're going to chain one, and then instead of working a corner what I'm going to do is work around the sides of the rows and in this first row I'm actually going to work two single crochet. So two single crochet into the side of the first row. Now down the rest of the side I am going to work a single crochet into the side of each row. And just continue working a single crochet into the side of each row all the way down. When you reach your next corner, we're just going to turn our work. And we're going to work into the opposite side of the starting chain. And into that very first starting chain, I'm going to work two single crochets. So one and two. Then I'm going to work a single crochet into the opposite side of that chain for the next 11 chains. So what I'm doing is actually working into that starting chain at the very beginning of our project into the opposite side. Once we reach the next corner, we're going to turn our work. We're going to work into the side of the rows again and into the side of the first row we are going to work two single crochet. One and two. And then for the rest of the row we're going to work one single crochet into the side of every row just like we did the first side that we worked. Continue doing this until you reach your next corner. Once we reach our next corner, we're going to turn our work. We're going to work two single crochet into the top of that first stitch. One and two. And then we're going to single crochet into the next 11 stitches and that will get us back to the beginning of our work. When you reach the very beginning of your work, I'm going to work one more single crochet 
and then I'm going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet. From now on, we will be working in joined rounds. So this is what our bag will look like with that single crochet edging. So now we're going to start a new texture, and to do this, we are going to chain one. I am going to skip the very first stitch that's at the bottom of the chain one, and I am going to work two half double crochets into the next stitch. So one and two. We're going to skip the next stitch and work two half double crochets into the following stitch. And we are just going to repeat this pattern all the way around our project. So skip the next stitch and work two half double crochets in the following stitch. And repeat this all the way around. So here I've made it all the way around and I'm just going to work my last repeat. So I'm going to skip a stitch and work two half double crochets into the very last stitch. One and two. And then I will slip stitch the very first half double crochet. Now for row 41, we are going to work all of our half double crochets into the space in between the previous increases. So not into the stitch, but actually in between the two posts. So I've chained one, and now I'm going to work two half double crochets in between the previous half double crochet increase. So there is my second half double crochet. Now I'm going to skip to the next increase and work two more half double crochets in between the post of the stitch. So one and two. And you're just going to repeat this all the way around. This is going to be another repeat row that we're going to repeat this row several times. So again, working two half double crochets into the posts of the previous increase. And just do that all the way around. And when you reach the very end of the row, we are again just going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet. You may notice that your bag isn't getting taller quite yet. That is to be expected because our half double crochets tend to be a little bit wider than our single crochet, so it's still going to be pretty flat right now. And that's okay, it just means you're going to be able to fit more into your flat bottom bag. Now I am just going to repeat row 41 until I have a total of 49 rows. So again, we just chained one and we're working two half double crochets in between the increases of the previous row, in between the two half double crochets of the previous row. and just continue repeating this row until you have a total of 49 rows. So I'm just reaching the end of row 49. I am going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet. And this time we're gonna go ahead and change colors. If you'd like, it's completely optional. I did for my project. And I'm just going to change to a cream colored yarn. And this time I'm going to chain two. And we are going to do a double crochet in between the two half double crochets of the previous row increase. So just like we've been working before, but this time we're working a double crochet. After our double crochet, we are going to work a chain one, and then work your next double crochet into the increase of the previous row, working between the posts of the two stitches. Once more, we're going to chain one, and work a double crochet in between the two previous half double crochets, and we're going to do this all the way around. So I'm going to finish up by chaining one, 
working a double crochet in between the last increase and then I'm going to chain one more and slip stitch to the very first double crochet. I am ignoring my chain two. I do not treat it as a stitch. I just simply ignore it. And that is our first cream colored row. Now what we're going to do is chain two. This time we're going to double crochet into the top of the stitch. We are going to chain one, skip the chain space and double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And just repeat this around. So chain one, double crochet into the top of the following stitch skipping your chain one space. And this is another one of our repeat rows. So you're going to continue repeating this row until you have a total of 62 rows. So here I am at the end of row 51. Remember to end with a chain one. And then you will slip stitch to the very first double crochet. And that is our mesh pattern for the middle of our bag. So now we're just going to repeat this row by chaining two, double crochet into the first stitch, skip the chain one space, chain one, and double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat this all the way around, end with a slip stitch to the first double crochet, and as I said, keep going until you have a total of 62 rows. So I am just finishing up row 62 with my chain one and slip stitch to the first double crochet. So you can see the mesh that I have made. Now we are going to create a solid section before we work our handle. So you're going to chain two. We're going to double crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to double crochet into the chain one space. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next chain one space. Double crochet into the next stitch. And the next chain one space. Just repeat all the way around for this row. When you reach the end of this row, I'm going to work a double crochet in the very last chain one space, and then I am going to slip stitch to the very first double crochet. In my case, I am going to go ahead and change my yarn color just to give a little bit of that accent color up top, but that is optional. And for this row, I am going to chain two, one and two, and I am going to double crochet in every stitch around. Just working one double crochet in each stitch. When I reach the end of this row, I am going to slip stitch to the very first double crochet and again, I'm going to change my colors. I'm just carrying up that white on the inside of my work. I did not fasten it off. And we're just gonna repeat the last row once more, this time working a double crochet in every stitch across in the off-white color. So just a double crochet in every stitch across all the way around. When you reach the end of row 65, we're just going to slip stitch the first double crochet. And now we are going to begin working our handle. So if you look down here, off to our right is the edge, the side of our bag. So we want to go ahead and chain two here. Looks like 
like I'm just going to chain one and turn. And then I'm going to work a double crochet decrease along the first two stitches of this row. So I'm going to go yarn over, I'm going to go into the first stitch, and I'm going to pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops on my hook. So I've completed part of a double crochet. I'm going to yarn over again and go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. That is a double crochet decrease. Now we are going to double crochet into the next six stitches. Once we've worked our six double crochet, we're going to work one more double crochet decrease. So I'm completing half of the first double crochet, yarn over, move to the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two on the hook, yarn over, go through three on the hook to create our last decrease. Now all we are going to do is just create the length of our handle. I'm going to do this by chaining one and turning and I'm just going to double crochet in the next eight stitches. So we're just double crocheting across and we're going to repeat this row several times in order to create a nice long handle. When I reach the end of this row, I'm just going to repeat the row until I have a total of 96 rows. Remember I am counting from the very beginning. We're going to chain one and then what I like to do to have a nice straight edge is just pull up on my loop a little bit instead of chaining a second chain and then I'm going to double crochet in each stitch across starting with that very first stitch so I do not count this turning chain as a stitch either and just continue repeating this rows. If you're just counting from where the handle is I believe we work a total of 30 rows into the handle. So here I am on my very last row. This can either be row 30 of the handle or row 97 of the entire project. And this time I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work two double crochets into the very first stitch. We're going to double crochet into the next six stitches. We're just kind of like reverse engineering what we did at the beginning of our handle. So working into the next six stitches and then we get to our very last stitch. The next stitch here is our very last stitch. We are going to work two double crochets into our very last stitch. So we're increasing where we originally decreased. So one more double crochet. And then you want to fasten off leaving plenty of yarn because we are going to be using this yarn to sew this to the other edge of our bag. So just fasten off actually leaving a longer end than I did. Yarn over and pull that through the last loop. Yes, I definitely recommend a longer end than I left myself. Now we're going to jump back to where the beginning of our handle is and we are going to count over. 42 stitches. I've already marked mine with a stitch marker and this is where we are going to begin sewing the other end of our handle. So you're going to start in the 43rd stitch. We're skipping 42. I'm just going to count over 10 because I have 10 stitches to sew onto the bag. Just weave your yarn end into a needle. Again, I'm counting over 10 stitches to figure out where to start and I am just going to use that yarn end and whip stitch my bag together. And I definitely recommend going across one way and then coming back across the other way to make sure that your handle is nice and secure. So once you have your handle all sewn on, all you need to do is weave in all of your ends, which shouldn't really be that many because we pretty much just kept 
going with the same yarn throughout the entire project, you're just going to need to weave in where you had your color changes and the very beginning and the very end of your project. So I really hope you enjoyed this bag and liked the tutorial. I have a ton of fun tutorials on my YouTube channel, so I really hope you check the other tutorials out if you like how I teach these tutorials. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other types of tutorials you'd like to see me make. And as always, thank you so much for watching.